And lawmakers are set to travel to the United States this month to push for the release of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The cross-party delegation includes a former deputy prime minister, Barnaby Joyce, who said in a news conference on Tuesday, enough is enough. It's incredibly important that we use this opportunity to convey to the United States, as even as a very strong ally, that the issue pertinent to Mr Assange should be coming to a conclusion. Enough is enough. Uh, he's been incarcerated now for a long period of time. The lawmakers aim to urge US officials to drop their attempts to extradite Assange from a British prison, where he has been since 2019 after holding up for seven years inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Assange is wanted in the United States on charges over WikiLeaks' release of confidential US military records and diplomatic cables in 2010. Labour Party lawmaker Tony Zapier said it's important for Americans to know Australians feel strongly about the situation Assange is in. I think it would be fair to say that regardless of anyone's views about Julian Assange, the reality is that he has now paid a very heavy price for what he's been accused of, regardless of whether people agree with what he's done or not. The group is set to meet with Congress and Senate members, State and Justice Department officials, as well as human rights and press freedom groups. We hope to correct. Assange's supporters say he has been victimised for exposing US wrongdoing, including in conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. Washington argues the release of the secret documents put lives in danger. Support for Assange among US policymakers remains low. Only a few members of Congress have come forward in support of the demand to drop charges against him. If extradited, Assange faces a sentence of up to 175 years in a maximum security prison.